so I'm out with my cousin really quick. Um, she wanted me to ride with her and just chill. Um, but I got a secret real quick, y'all. I got to tell somebody. So she thought I was smoking with her. I really wasn't smoking. I was putting the um, putting the blunt to my mouth, but I wasn't inhaling. <laughs> she didn't even know. See, I was still able to sit here. Protect and rescue. <gasps> My polish came. Gotta order. Gotta order. <laughs> Actually, it's after afternoon. Good afternoon. I just, did y'all see? I just got my um my nail polish. Just got the nail polish. Now, I went downstairs to see if I can find my um dryer, um, the uh, LED lamp. Um, I have it, but I don't have the cord. Um, and y'all know I, my y'all know that my stuff is everywhere, so um, I can't find the cord. Um, so I am um, I'm about to go to Sally's, back to Sally's to. Um, yep, you're welcome. God bless you. Um, back to Sally's uh, to uh, get um, an LED lamp. I think they got like a um, they got one that's not too expensive. Um, maybe around like 14 bucks so I'm gonna go there and uh, hope I can find one that is around that price um, and then I'm gonna um, add more uh, to my nails so that's where we're about to go my mother still has the kids um, and I am enjoying my Sabbath day so let me just talk about how I got to understand what day is the Sabbath day? Um, I was in bed after prayer, after devotion, um, after writing in my journal. I um, went on Instagram, of course, and I came across a girl who wears head coverings like myself. And that is what caught my attention, her head covering. And um, I just wanted to listen to what she had to say. Um, and she was talking about the Sabbath day and how the Sabbath day is on Saturday and how um, Christians and just other religions believe the Sabbath day is on different days, right? Um, some Christians believe um, Sabbath day is on a Saturday. Some people or Christians or religions, they believe the Sabbath day is on a uh, Sunday. So um, she, um, shot, she mentioned some... Um, she mentions um, some scriptures to read so that you can um, identify what day is the Sabbath day. And so for me, um, I didn't get a chance to write down um, the scripture. The Holy Spirit allowed me to get the scripture um, because she was talking really fast. Um, and... Uh, Come on now, she was talking really fast. And so I didn't catch the scripture, um, but the Holy Spirit allowed me to um, get that scripture. And um, I believe it's in Matthews. Um, and it is Jesus' um, resurrection. Jesus' resurrection um, in the New King James Version. And um, he definitely says that the beginning of the week starts basically on that. Well, it doesn't say the Sunday, but the beginning of the week um, is Sunday. I'll let y'all just read it. Just I'll put it right here. So um, that's what he said. And so now I understand a little bit more on the days of the week um, and that our calendar that we have um 
is not the right calendar um and so this is why we're not supposed to really be ce celebrating all of these pagan holidays um because it's just like we don't we, we don't go we shouldn't go by a man-made calendar but we do um and i'm not saying nothing's wrong with it um it's just when you are on this walk truly on this walk see not everyone not everyone that says they're on this walk is on the walk right and so when you are really on the faith walk when you are really convicted to read the bible um not just for an hour not just for five minutes but like over and over and over and over and over again i call it like obsessed with jesus word like obsessed with jesus word like that's what i call it when you are obsessed with jesus word and you are really on this journey of holiness you will understand that you have to you cannot play any games with his word and you need to understand that um a lot of people are going to come and go in your life but jesus is here to stay in your life and you're also going to understand that if you don't look up the word yourself you will listen and you will conform to whatever the world is saying and I know that by experience so that's why when I listen to other people um, when they are um, spreading the gospel there's nothing wrong with it I spread the gospel um, so when I see other people spread the gospel um, I don't just take what they say um, and run with it I look it up I look it up okay so that's what I did today and I realized that um, Saturday is the Sabbath day and um, we should be going to church on the Sabbath day we should uh, be um, praising the Lord and doing worship on a Saturday we should rest on a Saturday so um, on Saturday I will um, starting today today will be my sabbath day today will be the day that i the, the day that i go to church right um i don't know how that's gonna feel for me knowing that sunday is the day that i go to church um here on on, on earth right um so maybe i'll still go to church on sunday to get that extra dose but i'm going to find um a church that i can go to in person um on saturday so that's crazy that i have to do that because you would think a christian or a christian pastor would understand and would know that the sabbath day is on a saturday but some christians believe different and so this is why we're really not supposed to conform to the world um and uh for me i just know that i'm not perfect i know that god is pleased that i'm on this walk but he also knows i try to um i try to conform conform, conform conform to the world a lot and so he is revealing certain things to me so that i can stay focused and stay on my walk um and this walk is not easy okay not easy at all um so um i will continue to go to church um but i will find um or i will allow god to um reveal a church that i can go to um in person on saturday but until i do that i will um i will continue to um keep saturday as my sabbath day i will praise the lord i will worship i will um do my um bible study i will go to church online um and i will continue to do that until i find a um a church that is going to be held on saturday so that's that learning y'all i love this about this journey and i feel so good because i haven't smoked yet <laughs> y'all my nose was dripping um last night i couldn't breathe i was so congested i'm like what is going on and the lord was just really convicting my heart he was like listen i done told you to put this stuff down now you ain't listening so i'm gonna make sure i give you this bad cold i'm gonna make sure every time you inhale this smoke your nose start dripping you just gonna feel horrible and literally that's how i was feeling all night um 
all night like for the rest of the night and i thought i was like oh my god and then i had a burst of energy and i realized that that burst of energy that i felt was the conviction and the holy spirit allowing me to feel free because once you get high you come down from your high you're now in realization and i was tired and just miserable and i felt like my life was just depleted and i'm like i'm high my husband even went to sleep because he said he was like yo i felt sick like i too high i'm like this is not healthy this cannot be this is cannot be what we need to be doing right now this is just not right so that just allowed me to just really see how god works and he's just amazing so we literally went through that last night like 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 we went through that last night so that I could wake up this morning and um, read his word to see that today is the day that I say no to smoking, no to wanting to smoke, and I'm going to turn away and turn to my Bible. Um, thank you, Lord, because I really was, str I'm struggling. It's like one minute I'm like, I want to smoke. The next minute I'm like, no. I'm like, Lord, take it away. But he's like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to have you smoke so that you can feel convicted to just stop because it's going to make you feel so sick to where you do, you're, you're not going to want to feel like that. I did, I did not like the way I felt last night. I'm like, I don't know if it's the grain of the weed or what, but I felt horrible to wake up this morning and feel so much better and this day i woke up with a headache like i had drank or something i woke up with a headache i woke up just feeling tired i woke up feeling exhausted I'm like, what's going on what is going on and as i kept drinking my coffee and i kept reading the word i started to feel better and better and better and better i'm like okay and then my husband comes home with food and then he gets the kit and then he begins to roll up and i'm like the smell of it just makes my stomach turn so now i'm like mm -mm. i'm gonna go get the stuff for my nails by the time i get back he'll be done and i ain't gotta smell it i'm not wanting him to stop because i stopped i'm wanting him to be convicted in his way so if the lord will convict him to stop smoking he will convict him to stop smoking and he will be done until then People are going to do what they want to do, okay? Um, I am never pushing off of them. I'm never pushing my stuff on people. I, I used to when I first um, when I first got into, um, not got into, but when I first started um, my journey, right? I was trying to push a lot of what I was learning and getting um, knowledge. I was trying to put all my knowledge on other people, and it's just like, no not all the you can't do that so um when he has been told to put the stuff down he will put it down until then um he's going to continue to keep doing what he's doing uh but for me in my body um i'm not i'm not partaking so i know this is going to be harder than i say it's going to be i know that i'm going to have to um stay in my word and keep uh, not, I want to say I don't want to say stay in isolation, but kind of isolate myself a little bit from people, places, and things that would pull me in the direction to smoke. Um, so that's that's something that I'm gonna do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm so excited. I be so excited when I get stuff that I know I'm going to benefit from. Ugh. So, doing my own nails has been a, um, has been a journey, but it's also been very educational. <laughs> Learning how to do my own nails yeah it's really saving me money so i brought some spray this is some pink champagne hair and body spray yeah from sally's Let's see what it smells like. i love to smell good especially um especially when i used to be a smoker i used to never want to smell like 
this weed. So I always keep it in the spray bottle. Let's see. Ooh! I smell like candy. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, okay, so I got this. So I literally just stick my hands underneath. Um, it's like a mini one. Dashing Diva. That's what it's called. So glory to God. Now let's go home. Hey you guys. So I'm out with my cousin really quick. Um, she wanted me to ride with her and just chill. Um, but I got a secret real quick, y'all. I gotta tell somebody. So she thought I was smoking with her. I really wasn't smoking. I was putting the um putting the blunt to my mouth, but I wasn't inhaling. <laughs> She didn't even know. See, I was still able to sit here and be amongst her and chill with her and speak about Jesus and not smoke. 